Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, it is now 2024. And to celebrate the new year, I thought I'd dive into my collection of Wizard of Oz calendars. So let's journey down through years past into the Oz calendars that I have. And if you're new here, don't forget to set that alert button. We have new videos drop every other Friday. So if you love Oz, please stick around for more Oz content. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at 724OzFan. Over the years, I have received received many Oz calendars. Some I have gotten from Christmases during my childhood. What I love about the calendars is it's something you can put up on your walls and have all year round. I'm not going to talk too much about the calendars. I'm just going to give you the dates, what I really love about them, and then I'll throw in some pictures to go along with it. First up, we have 1997. This is one of the first ones that I've received. I do love the artwork on the front. I wish it would have all the characters. It's missing the lion. This calendar almost seems to play out the film starting with Kansas being in January, slowly working into Munchkin land, meeting our characters along the way, conquering the Wicked Witch, and then returning back home to Oz. Next is one of my favorites, 1999. I love this calendar because it has one of my favorite images from the movie, the witch going in to grab Dorothy's ruby slippers. I love that they decided to use this image as the cover for the calendar. It's such a powerful image from the movie that really sticks with you. What I love about this calendar are the high quality images we get. Another fun Oz detail is that each calendar month has this fun spiral yellow brick road pattern. Next, we ring in the millennial year with these two 2000 calendars. This Hallmark calendar does seem to repeat some of the same images we saw in the Daily Dream one from 1999, the previous year. I love the detailed yellow brick road framing the calendar, and I also love how the background follows it throughout the calendar. This 2000s calendar brought to us by Daydream, what I love about this is the sayings that go along with the characters. Instead of just having the pictures, we get these great quotes from the movies that make looking at this fun. And we also have the same yellow brick road motif going throughout the calendar. As we move forward, we have this 2001 calendar with Dorothy on the cover. We see these beautiful photos along with some awesome quotes from the movie. And again, that same yellow brick road motif throughout the calendar. 2003 calendar. I love this cover to this calendar. In this one, we finally get all four characters on the cover. We have the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, Dorothy, the Lion. I love this kind of Photoshop background. We have the Yellow Brick Road, the Apple Orchard. I think this is a great cover to the calendar, really showcasing all four of the characters. Again, we have these beautiful pictures. I wish they would start to grab some other images throughout the movie. We start to see these repeating throughout the years. Each month really is its own unique design. Next up is 2007. This is where the designs really start to come alive and have fun. We have this beautiful cover of Dorothy and her friends walking down the yellow brick road. And what I love about these pictures is they start to collage some of the Photoshop pieces with images from the movie. And of course, we get the quotes again, but we also get these awesome borders as well as side pictures throughout the calendar. So from 2007, we kind of take a big jump and we go all the way to 2010. This calendar is brought to us by Andrews McMeal Publishing Company. This is some fun retro artwork we have on the cover. I love the Dorothy and Glinda. And what's fun about this calendar is these look like 1930s movie posters. Some of my favorites are The Wicked Witch of the West, The Winged Monkeys, Hell, I love them all. Next is 2011. We're back again with the Daydream calendars. What's really fun about this one is it takes some of the posters that have been produced throughout the years. These posters are so fun. And I love that there's a calendar to showcase them all. Here we have the 2013 calendar. This is brought to us by Mead products. I do love the white and green Emerald City motif throughout the calendar and the rainbow at the top, but the pictures are a little less to be desired. We've already seen them in the early 2000s. They're the heavily photoshopped stills. I do love the month of December, which is the last photo here. We have Dorothy and her friends walking down the yellow brick road. Next is the 2014 calendar. This calendar was to celebrate the 75th anniversary. They produced a couple calendars this year. This first one I still have not opened it's still wrapped up and I probably will not open. The front cover has Dorothy and her friends and some cool metallic detailing. Each month has its own design and character. And then we have this cool 75th anniversary. This calendar comes in this cardboard packaging 
which has some iridescent ruby slippers when you shine it in the light. I do like how sturdy this calendar is compared to the others. The quality is a little bit nicer. We have these beautiful images and this 75th anniversary print of them is just absolutely stunning. Next, we have 2016. This is a fun cover. I like to keep the ones that I haven't opened and saved in my collection. But on the back, each character has its own month with its own background special to that character. I do like the backgrounds that they've created for each character. And each one has its own special saying. Makes for a fun, collectible calendar. Next is 2017. We have this awesome cover of the Scarecrow, Lion, Tin Man, and Darth in the Emerald City. And again, we get these great backgrounds with the characters with special quotes. And these quotes are different from some of the quotes we've seen before. These photos seem to be heavily photoshopped. It's almost like they've been built in a computer. I don't mind the heavily Photoshop. I like a nice quality picture and this calendar definitely delivers. Next we have 2018. This is more of a muted calendar and this one comes with a bonus wallpaper, which is like the front cover. And to bring us home with the Oz calendars is the 2020 calendar. These have some great images. I love the one of Dorothy and the rainbow. I love that we get the wizard's head. I love the backgrounds. I love the design. It's super colorful. Colorful. And when I think of Oz, this is exactly what I think of. Some other Oz calendars are these Wicked calendars. We have the years 2009, 2010. I picked these up at Barnes & Noble. I love the quality of the images. These are a great piece to add to your collection if you're an Oz collector and if you love Wicked. That's my Oz calendar collection. I hope this year I can add the 2024 into my collection. Please comment and let me know what years you have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram at 724OzFan, and I'll see you here next time.